guys, welcome back. I hope you all had a fantastic day. I know that I sure did. So today, I'm going to be bringing you some more Rainbow Six Siege hiding spots and glitches. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first one I'm going to show you guys today takes place in the Watchtower on the map Oregon. So what you're going to want to do for this is go up to kind of the tan chest. Once there, you're going to go to the area you see me go to. Vault onto the black chest, and if you do slip off, just try it again. You'll eventually get it. Once you get on there, though, then you're going to want to go and walk onto the shelf. Once up there, you get a really good vantage point over the room and out the door. But the one downside to this is you are very vulnerable, especially if somebody sends a drone in before coming in, which does happen a lot. In my case, it did happen, and I had to get down off the shelf to get the kill. But it is a really good spot if the drones aren't looking up. You can just sneak right up there and then get the person when they come in. Now, this is the kind of spot that I would recommend the use of in a 1v1. I wouldn't recommend the use of it at the beginning of a match, as you are too vulnerable for all the people coming through. What I mean by this is that there's probably like a 99% chance that you're gonna die if you are up there at the beginning of the round. So I'd wait till it's like a 1v1, or if you're just in a custom game doing a 1v1, this spot would be perfect to use. Okay guys, so this next glitch is going to allow you to place down your shield in a way where it's not going to allow enemies to vault over it. Now to my knowledge, this only works in one location, and this location is on kind of the cave part of Clubhouse. Now the way that I found this was I was just playing in an online session, and I saw this guy place down his shield. When enemies tried to rush into the room, they couldn't vault over it, and I thought this was pretty funny, and so did he. So if you don't want to waste your reinforcements on this cave part, this is a really good way to make sure enemies can't get through. Now there is one downside. Everybody that plays Siege should know that shields do break when they get blown up. So if the enemy has any kind of explosive on them besides breaching charges, because you can't really place those on a shield, if they have any other kind of explosive, they will be able to get past this. So it's just kind of a funny thing to do to your friends if you know that they do not have a grenade or anything like that. So to do this, all you're going to want to do is place your shield the exact way and in the exact spot that you see me place mine. Once that's done, nor you or the enemy will be able to jump over the shield, causing kind of a barrier of sorts. And then it's not like your shield is glitched or anything, because you can just go and pick it up and walk right through if you want to. Now, I haven't tested it, but this might work. You may be able to place the shield when you're in the room so that you're not stuck in that cave part. I don't know, you guys try it and let me know in the comments because I'd really like to know if that works. Because it would be great to be able to do it where you're not stuck in the same room as the enemy. It would just be amazing to just see them all pulled up there not knowing how they can get through or what's happening. Okay guys, so this last one takes place in the wine cellar on Chalet. Now my friend Cyborg Elf is actually the finder of this, you can find his channel link in the description, I'll put it down there so you guys can go and sub to him. He also does Rainbow Six glitches, and if you watch my videos, the likes of you watching his are probably very high. Now before I go on, let me just put this out there, this glitch is really hard to do. It took us a while to actually get it to work, and I could not get it at all, I just got tired of trying. But he did get it, so I got footage of him doing it. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is place your shield down in the area where you see his shield placed. You're then going to want to run across the shield and try to find the vault symbol. It usually shows up by the two green containers, sometimes it can show up by the barrel. You're then going to want to vault, and when you vault, you'll notice that you go into the barrel. You get a really good spot from up there. People aren't going to, like, look up there for you because the barrel's there. So you're kind of going to blend in a little bit. Once they do look there, though, they're going to see you and they're going to shoot you. By the time they actually get to see you up there, though, you'll have enough time to be able to kill them, which is pretty nice. Now, two things can happen while trying to do this. One is the one I just explained where you go in the barrel, and two, you can actually vault through the wall sometimes. Now, the one with the barrel is much cooler because you get a really good spot, but the wall breach can be really good if you like know what you're doing and you've mastered being able to vault on top. Because once you know how to vault through the wall, you can get really good kills by going through if somebody's chasing you, and then coming around and shooting them. Again, it is really hard to do, so don't get discouraged if you don't get it the first time. Obviously, I didn't get it at all, but he did. And I know this doesn't really help you out while you're playing, but it does look really funny to just see somebody up there. They look like a midget up there. It's just, it's really funny to just see them. Like, if you take a minute to look at the video clip, you'll know what I'm talking about. 
Okay guys, that's gonna do it for today. Let me know if you did enjoy the video by leaving a like down below. It really helps out my channel and makes me feel good overall. So once again, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.